here is Ann Arbor, home to 115,000 people and home to the University of Michigan. But what is Ann Arbor? Well, let's find out. Whenever we talk about Ann Arbor, we always have to talk about the seasons because they just make such a big impact on our life here in Ann Arbor. In the summer, we are blessed with a blanket of green covering the entire city. In the fall, all the leaves change and it gets a little chilly. In the winter, all of the trees and the ground turn white from the snow. And in the spring, all of the snow melts away to reveal a beautiful bloom. But even with all this beauty, there's still a lot of trouble from the weather. In the winter, it is always snowing, and that makes the roads too dangerous to drive sometimes, and it's way too cold to leave also. Because of the snow, the roads get very cracked and messed up, so we have to spend all summer fixing them. But that doesn't hinder our annual summer festival. This is a place of gathering for all of Ann Arbor. It's a place for families, friends, and couples. Really anybody. Every single day we have performances, such as local artists, or musicians, or even movies. Most importantly, it's a time where all of Ann Arbor can gather and have fun with each other. This isn't the only gathering in Ann Arbor. One big part of our city is our university football team, the Michigan Wolverines. <laughs> Every game is packed with fans, and millions of people are also watching on television. Looks over the middle, he's got Chesson running free! J.U. Chesson to the pylon! And into the end zone for another touchdown! Half of the fun of the football game occurs before it's even started at the tailgates. Best rivalry in all of sports! Woo! Step inside. We, we got some inside. heat. Let's get some heat. Work, Club to. Wolvenator. Hip, hip. Ohio State, let's go. Hip, hip. As you can see, Michigan football is such an important part of our culture. But Ann Arbor is changing in so many different ways. One of which can be shown in a local Ann Arbor restaurant called Blue Beaver. Founded in 1953, Blippi Burger has grown into an icon for Ann Arbor's small businesses. A double with uh, mushrooms, blue cheese, stone ground mustard. I'm hungry. I usually get a quad. It's a big burger. It gets uh, it's a triple on an onion bun. It gets an onion ring and an egg. Mayo and barbecue sauce. Pickle mustard. This restaurant is so popular. It means a lot to people. But it recently closed, and this is a reaction to many Ann Arbor residents. Around the world, just to go to Blimby Burger, and they're fucking closed, man. It's awesome. Welcome to New Ann Arbor. Many other stores just like Blimby Burger are closing down, such as Middle Earth after 47 years. And Save Free Jewelers, who's been around for a hundred years. And the Clay Gallery, which is 30 years old. All of these stores are developed and are being shut down. Ann Arbor is such an amazing town, but it is changing. It's turning into a big, less unique city. I guess all we have to do now is find out if it'll stick.